People fear for their lives each and every day. Fear can be constructed and utilized for any purpose. Good, evil, and then there's me, caught up in the chaos. This is full of unsolved murders, skyrocketing crime. It's a pigsty, the stench of garbage and decay on the streets, the seemingly endless cloudy nights. Yet I'm still here, fighting to see the sun shine once again. Jones, let him in. Looks like a burglary. Major crimes came and ran through this place about 20 minutes ago, so it's a bit roughed up. What was taken? Uh, painting off the wall, some jewelry. We're still taking inventory. And the girl? Uh, medic says she had some kind of panic attack. They're playing it like a... Uh, Induced shock from stress and intrusion. You don't agree? That's the thing. I don't know what it is. Medical report says her lungs were filled with some kind of chemical oxide. Could be carbon monoxide? Hydrogen oxide? No. It wasn't that. Then what is it? Give me the medical report. The fumes replace the oxygen in your blood cells. Stopping the oxygen from reaching the tissues or organs. Her body's been here for over seven hours. Yet there's still oxygen in her lungs. Ingesting carbon monoxide wouldn't let that happen. So, what's your diagnosis on this? It was someone that came across. Most likely a mixture of carbonated three quinoa cancel benzylate. Her eyes are completely dilated. Her skin's freezing. Like she saw a ghost. Did you check the body? Had a couple of my guys run over it. It's bruised and scratched, but otherwise clean. Everything internal has to wait until the ME submits his report. Wait, is that a... Mendez, let me see that computer. Looks like a phone number. Mendez, take this. Seven, 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 seven. Hello? It's for you. Is this the Batman speaking? I was hoping we'd get to chat. I take it by you calling this number you found the body. Why'd you kill her? For an experiment. You've obtained fear in this city, and you have taken advantage of it. I guess we both do. I use fear. To kill. Not exclusively. It's nothing but an instrument, sweetly orchestrated for the lost souls of Gotham. Who are you? I'm the prelude of death. Hanging in the grassy fields, bringing trepidation to everyone and everything. If you want to stop me from killing even more, you can find me at East Eleanor Boulevard, the building on the corner.
boss. <laughs> I ain't telling you anything. Scarecrow, he's got big plans. So tell me, Mr. Batman, did you like it? It's a new truck I've been developing. Praise on the innocence of the mind. Eating away at the nerves like madness. Exposing the terrors of your childhood. Feeding into your pain and suffering. Rising from the valley of death? Good. You're just in time. I'm taking it over. No, no, no. Don't talk. Just let it settle and ease through. Savior, I believe that you, best of us, be what we needed. It doesn't matter anymore. What are you talking about? And you have the goddamn nerve to act ignorant. Do you know what you cost me? What your actions cost all of Gotham? I lost everything! Jim, I, I... We are all burning. And it's all on your shoulders. Sins of the Father are burning on the back of the Son, Bruce. It was a bad judgment call. They were right. It's time you got a taste to the justice you serve. Put the gun down. I'm not going to do that. You know you deserve what's coming. Jim, you know this isn't right. You and I are both trying to keep Gotham safe. We're fighting the same fight. We are the only ones keeping Gotham plummeted even further. It's complete darkness. What can't be said? No. I thought the same thing. How could I have been so stupid even to turn a blind eye to your methods? Because you got results. But only Gotham has suffered. You've been in things your way for far too long. Thought you were better. But you're no different than those other mad psychopaths. You don't have to do this. Thought you were a new, better foundation for Gotham. One with laws in force, with safe for families to live, my family. But I now realize Gotham's foundation can't be lawless. Or it'll come crashing down at the slightest blow. Can't have you running around taking the law into your own hands. The law won't be able to control you. So I have to put you down.
everyone's scared of something. You can pretend that you use fear as a tool on people to right Dawkins' wrongs. Admit it. You're just as scared as everyone else. Let the fear in. Let it consume you. Eat at you. you. Like a child? You didn't even try to save her. This is the truth. What do you know about the truth? I was there the day that Martha and Thomas Wayne were gunned down in the alley. I saw it happen. Oh, Bruce. Deep down inside, you know that's not true. All those years of suppressing the truth. No. You... My father loved her. You were just a child. How could you know anything? I never loved your mother. Christ, I just needed her power and influence. I had money, but not enough. I wanted full control of the Kane fortune. 
I wasn't just a major player in Gotham. I own Gotham. Why shouldn't I run the city? I spent my life bleeding for it. Every decision from politicians to criminals came to me. All those charities and fundraisers. The best part? It wasn't a hard act to play. I made it believable because it's who I was. <laughs> Believe me, I never wanted a family. You were an inconvenience, an accident. Oh, I loathed you, little Brucey. Always so scared of something. You'll never be a Wayne. Liar. And here you are, dressed up like a rodent in the night, trying to save these people. They can't be saved, just like she couldn't be. My parents were good people. I do this for them, for the memory. So the people of Gotham know someone is there to protect them. The people of Gotham are sick, putrid creatures. They don't need protection. They need to burn. You're wrong. You're not my father. Thomas Hoyt loved Gotham. He dedicated his life to helping its citizens. You won't win. I won't let you. I've already won. <laughs> nothing can stop me. <coughs> I fear nothing. And no one. Not even you. I am the invincible agent of your doom. I am the vengeance no. ruler. You're insane. You don't deserve to live. <laughs> Do it then. Kill me. <laughs> city in ruin. Monsters lurk in the streets. And one more watches them from the shadows. I often wonder if this is worth it, the soul of Gotham. But every night I look in the mirror and I assure myself, the city can't be saved. Let's go, Crane. I'd love to use you for one of my experiments when I leave. Shut up. This man will fear me. I'll make it so. This collection of waste. Don't know me. And they'll learn. This month, sir. Not like that. Far too many my neck of the woods. This suck. This bad freak. He's getting on my nerves. Give me it. <laughs> I never wanted to call this bozo again. Job for you. I know it's been a while, but I, uh, 
I think you like this one. I'm gonna put a bounty out. Glad you wanted in some of that fun. Let's say, mm, 20 mil. You get him first, it's yours. Contract will start tomorrow. Sit down. What do you say? Come on, you know you wanna. Deal. Later, boy. Pleasure doing business with this slave. <laughs> Men, a few words. What did you just do? I even the odds. You should know better than to do that in my city. Good luck. Freak. <laughs>